In this video, we explain the properties of ORS estimator or we discuss the blue properties of ORS estimator or we discuss the Gauss-Markov theorem. Suppose you may be asked in your exam like prove that ORS estimators are best linear unbiased estimator or state and prove the gauss markov theorem of ols estimators now we are going to answer this question first of all the gauss markov theorem states that if a linear model satisfies the classical assumptions then the ordinary least square or ols estimators are unbiased estimator and that have minimum variance that means OLS estimators are blue, B for best, L for linear, U for unbiased and E for estimator. So best linear unbiased estimator. Proof. Let us take a two variable linear model as y i is equal to alpha plus beta x i plus e y where y i is the dependent variable, x i is explanatory independent variable alpha is intercept parameter, beta is slope parameter and ui is disturbances or random variable. The standard assumptions about disturbances are that is the standard assumptions of classical linear regression model about uh, disturbances are expected value of ui is equal to 0 that is expectations of disturbances is 0. The variance of disturbances is sigma square that is the variance of disturbances is constant that is equal to sigma square and the covariations among the disturbances is 0 that is expected value of ui and uj is 0 where i is not equal to j. The ordinary least square estimator of beta and alpha r beta cap is equal to summation small x i y i divided by summation x i square and alpha cap is y bar minus beta cap into x bar respectively where small y i is equal to capital y i minus y bar r and small x i is equal to capital x i minus x bar since small y i is equal to capital y i minus y bar so we put it here and after simplification we get summation small x i into capital y i divided by summation x i square because summation x i is 0 and we consider k i is equal to small x i divided by summation x i square and so beta cap is equal to summation k i into capital y i. Therefore, OLS estimator beta cap is a linear estimator because it is a linear function of observed variable y i. Similarly, we can prove that uh, alpha cap is also linear function of observed variable y i. Here we have found beta cap is equal to small summation k i into y i but uh, y i is equal to alpha plus beta x i plus u i. So after multiplication we get alpha into summation k i plus beta into summation k i x i plus summation k i or u i but uh, k i is equal to small x i divided by summation small x i square and uh, summation k i will be equal to summation x i divided by summation x i square which will be equal to 0 because summation x i is 0 and summation k i x i is equal to summation 
x i into capital x i divided by summation x i square. So, summation sorry small x i is equal to capital x i minus x bar. So, here we put uh, capital x i minus x bar in place of small x i and after simplification we get it is equal to 1. So, summation k i into capital x i is equal to 1. So, here we have found summation k i equal to 0 and summation k i into capital x i equal to 1. So, we get 0 plus beta plus summation k i u i that is equal to beta plus summation k i u i. Therefore, expected value of beta cap is equal to beta plus summation k i into expected value of u i. Again, expected value of u i is equal to 0. So, we get expected value of beta cap is equal to beta. Since expected value of beta cap is equal to beta, the OLS estimator beta cap is unbiased estimator of beta. Similarly, we can prove that expected value of alpha, alpha cap is equal to alpha or OLS estimator of alpha cap is also unbiased estimator of alpha. Now, we calculate the variance of beta cap which is equal to expected value of the square of the difference between beta cap and its expected value. Again, expected value of beta cap is beta. So, that is equal to expected value of the square of the difference between beta cap and beta. But the beta cap minus beta is equal to summation k i u i. So, we put summation k i u i in place of beta cap minus beta. So, expected value of square of the summation k i u i is equal to expected value of k i square into u i square plus twice summation k i k j u i u j where i is not equal to j. So, this is the expansion of a plus b, b a plus b whole square that is k i u i whole squares. Removing this bracket we get summation k i square into expected value of u i square that is variance of u i plus 2 into summation k i k j into expected value of u i u j. We know that expected value of u i is u j is 0 and the variance of u i is sigma square. So, we got the variance of beta cap is variance of u variance of u multiplied by summation k i square. Again, summation k i square is equal to 1 by summation small x i square. So, variance of beta cap is equal to stand, uh, variance of u multiplied by 1 divided by summation x i square. That means, variance of u divided by summation x i square. Similarly, we find the variance of alpha cap as variance of alpha is equal to variance of disturbance term u multiplied by summation x i square divided by n times of summation small x i square. Here we have found the variance of beta cap and variance of alpha cap. Now we have to prove whether these variances are minimum or not. So, in order to prove it, we take beta star as a arbitrary linear estimator of beta such that beta star is equal to summation w i y i where w i is equal to k i plus c i. Now, y i is equal to alpha plus beta x i plus u i does beta star is equal to alpha into summation w i plus beta into summation w i x i plus summation w i u i. Here we take the expected value of beta star. So, expected value of beta star will be equal to 
alpha into summation w i plus beta into summation w i x i plus summation w i into expected value of u i. But the expected value of u i is 0. So, expected value of beta star will be equal to alpha into summation w i plus beta into summation w i x i. Here, expected value of beta star will be the beta that is expected value uh, that is beta star will be the unbiased estimator of beta if and only if summation w i is equal to 0 and summation w i x i equal to 1. But uh, summation w i x i is equal to summation k i plus summation c i which is equal to 0 that means at the same time summation k i must be uh, sorry summation k i is equal to 0 and summation c i equal to 0 and summation w i x i must be equal to 1. So, here also we put the value of w i that is k i plus c i and we get summation k i into x i plus summation c i into x i already we have found that summation k i and x i is equal to 1. So, 1 plus summation c i x i equal to 1 that means summation c i x i should be 0. Now, the variance of beta star is equal to expected value of the square of the difference between beta star and its expected value. But uh, expected value of beta star is beta here we consider that beta star is the unbiased estimator of beta so expected value of beta star is beta but uh, beta star minus beta is equal to summation u i sorry summation w i into u i so after expansion we get this and that is equal to summation u i square into expected value of u i square plus 2 into summation e w i w j into expected value of u i u j. Again, the variance of u i is sigma square and the covariance between u i u j is 0. So, variance of beta star will be equal to variance of u multiplied by or variance of disturbance term multiplied by summation w i, but uh, w i is equal to k i plus c i. So, after expansion this we get the variance of beta star as e is equal to variance of disturbance term u multiplied by summation k i square plus variance of disturbance term u multiplied by summation c i square plus variance of uh, the variance of disturbance term u multiplied by 2 times of summation k i c i. Again summation k i c i is equal to 0. So, finally we get the variance of beta cap is equal to variance of disturbance term u divided by summation x i square plus variance of u multiplied by summation c i square, but uh, variance of u divided by summation x i square is the variance of beta kf. Therefore, variance of beta star is equal to variance of beta kf plus variance of disturbance term u multiplied by summation c i square. Here, variance of beta star into summation c i is some constants. So, variance of beta star is greater than variance of beta cap. So, therefore, variance of beta cap is less than the variance of beta star or the variance of wireless estimator beta cap is less than the variance of other estimator beta star. Similarly, we can prove that variance of alpha star 
is greater than the variance of alpha cap if alpha star is another estimator of alpha. So, this way we can prove that the OLS estimator alpha cap and beta cap have the minimum variance. Thus, we have seen that an OLS estimator is based because it has minimum variance linear because it is a linear function of observed variable variable and it is unbiased because the expected value of an OLS estimator is equal to its actual value of parameter. So, therefore, the OLS estimators are blue that is best linear unbiased estimator. Thank you.